Hi, I'm Thomas, an aquatics expert here at Big Al's, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and install a hang-on filter by Marineland called the Emperor 400. It's one of our most popular filters, and I'm sure you're going to love it. The first thing you want to do when you open up the box is remove the lid off the top of the filter. You'll notice that the bio wheels are uh, wrapped up and taped in place. You're going to need to remove those as well. You'll reinstall them later, so for now, just set them aside. After that, you're going to want to pull out the package that has the filter cartridges inside there. Uh, you can set them aside for now as well. We'll install them later. When you remove the filter from the box, underneath you'll see a package that has the intake stem and the intake screen cover, as well as an instruction booklet. I'll show you how to install that a bit later. So for now, remove the packaging from the bio wheels and set them back in place on the filter. Bio wheel number one, this, cut that off, and bio wheel number two. So at this point, I like to put the filter on the back of the aquarium. I just find it a little bit easier to install the components with it sitting there. That way you don't have to hold it up or it's not trying to tip itself over on the table. So once you get it on the back of the tank, we can open up the package that contains the filter cartridges. You're gonna install one on each side of the filter. You want the fuzzy side of the cartridge facing inward away from the bio wheels. This just makes sure that the debris gets caught before the water passes through the carbon. And it also makes sure that the um, pad isn't interrupting the rotation of the bio wheels. The next thing I usually like to install is the refillable filter cartridges. Uh, they're really convenient if you need to run something like extra carbon or a phosphate remover if you're having algae problems or even uh, a nitrate reducer, ammonia reducer. We're going to install the intake stem. Make sure everything's seated correctly and pushed together. For those of you with deeper aquariums, you may actually want to use the extension tube and mid-level strainer. Mid-level strainer goes on top of the lift tube. Very easy function. Closed means you get all the suction from the bottom strainer. Open means you're getting mid-level strainer as well. Decreases a little bit of the suction from the bottom. Add the extension pipe, which if, by the way, is too long for your aquarium, feel free to cut it down. And then lastly, the strainer goes on the end. Before we put the lid on the filter, we're gonna wanna fill it completely with water. Uh, you never want to start a filter dry. If you ever do do it, you're going to hear a loud grinding, banging noise. That's the impeller bouncing around with no water around it. And it'll never end up pulling water up into the filter. So what you're going to do is take any kind of container. Uh, you could use a cup, glass, as long as it's clean. And fill the filter from the back chamber. Once it's full, you're going to see the water pouring out of the front of the filter the way it would have, as if it was running. And plug the filter in. When you do this, you're going to hear a little bit of a loud noise. That's the filter purging all the air out. Once you're at that stage, you're gonna take the spray bars from the side. You can tilt them so that they're facing back into the filter and filling it up. Once this is stopped and the filter is running smoothly, you can tilt the spray bars back towards the bio wheel so that they keep them spinning. Put the lid on the filter and you're good to go. The Marineland Emperor 400 is rated by the manufacturer for tanks up to 90 gallons. However, I find that to be a little bit higher than what I would personally put it on. I usually top it out around 55 to 65 gallons as people really like to overstock their aquariums. So it's, it's safer to be a little bit under than a little bit over. If you're uh, finding that your tank isn't overstocked and you like to keep things pretty moderate, 90 gallons isn't a bad rating. So that's how you set up an Emperor 400 power filter by Marineland. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please check out our other videos. We've got new ones coming out every week. And don't forget to subscribe. Keep on tanking. Please check out other... That's a language you might not understand. It's a fish language. At this point, you should install the filter on the back of the aquarium. It's the best thing to do. So that's how you set up an Emperor 400 power filter by Marine. So many outtakes.